Besides the president, here is a couple other things that we are looking at some of our local counties. There are several candidates running for sheriff this year in Burke County. You've got Alfonso Williams, the incumbent and the write in candidate Brad Capitosti in Wilkes County. You've got Daryl Powers and Dietrich Jones in Aiken County. You've got Lucas Grant and Marty Sawyer in McCormick County. You've got Chad Cox and Tim Kelly. Several seats are up for grabs on the Richmond County School Board. Shantae Boyd and Reginald Forrest are running for District 4. Monique Braswell, a.k.a. Hassan, and Christopher Mullins are candidates in District 5. Mary Jane Abbott and Ani Poe are listed for District 8. And Lee Blitch and Samantha Valentine for District 10. Aiken County has two sales taxes that are up for renewal this year. The first one is for school projects, the 1% sales tax. This helps the public school district fund improvement projects. Campuses like Silver Bluff, North Augusta Middle, and South Aiken High are being considered for funding if voters say yes. If it doesn't pass this time around, it won't be up for consideration until the next general election. The other one up for renewal is the capital project sales tax that mainly helps fund infrastructure and other quality of life projects in the county. Leaders say it keeps paying for the county's needs while also keeping property taxes low. If this gets passed, it would go into effect for seven years and will start after the previous tax expires in 2026. These are a couple other races that we're tracking. Both Richmond County and Columbia County have East Blossed on the ballot for voters to decide on. Plus, two U.S. Two US representatives are up for re-election. Congressman Rick Allen and Liz Johnson are candidates for District 12 in Georgia. And in South Carolina, Representative Joe Wilson is running up against David Robinson II for the District 2 race there.